podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer Dick Bartolo. This is episode 1061 for Monday, April 5th, 2010, The Puzzle Sandwich Cutter. And now, get ready for Dick. Here we go. Brand new week, brand new day, and you know the rest. Hit it. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new daily gives with. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new daily gives with. The worse your life. A brand new week and a brand new day. The better we sound. It makes its own gravy. The worse your life. A brand new day and a brand new day. The better we sound. The worse your life. The better we sound. Sound, 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 sound. Hey, good morning, Dick. How are you then? I still have some matzo. I'm fine, Leo. I have mice in the studio. There's matzo. There's lots of leftover from Passover last week. Oh, uh, quite a bit left over. You observe all the holidays, don't you? Well, originally I thought if I observe all the holidays, I could take more time off. It hasn't worked well, out that good. way. All I get is the food. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? I, I ran out uh, last Thursday and bought a car. What? Wait, no, stop. Really? Well, and I'll tell you the reason why. An automobile? An automobile, and this is the reason why. Because of all the religious holidays, there's going to be 13 days of no alternate side of the street parking. Oh, finally, I can park. Yes, yeah, so I bought a car to park here. I'm going to sell it <laughs> after the 13 days. But I figured, this is like... Is that true? Because it's Holy Week and everything, they don't... They, and Passover and... and so just you know, they turn off... Alter, so we, we, we explain what alternate side of the street parking is. Oh, alternate side of the street parking is three hours a day. There are certain alternate streets. The street cleaner comes through. And so you have to move your car. And every street, it varies. So like uh, one street, it'll be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 to 12. Your car cannot be on the left side of the street. So people run down at one minute to nine. And they start circling, circling, trying to find a place to park or horrible horrible. they wait for the street cleaner to go by and they bring newspapers and boy it's really ridiculous wait a minute if you're sitting in your car the street sweeper will not well no if they're sitting in your car you could just quick run across the street oh drive it or you just drive around the block as they come they sweep the thing and then go back and park ah have to also worry that the cops don't realize don't care that the street's clean you shouldn't be there. It's a big mess. And what happens is if I'm walking the dog at night and people don't see the dog, they roll down their window. Are you going to a car? Are you about to go to a car and take it out and leave me a spot? Can I have that and spot, please? Leo, there. I've not seen it in a while, but there are men or a man. I've not, I haven't seen a man in a while either. What are you talking about? <laughs> Who makes a living, this guy would walk around the street with about a keychain with about 80 car keys oh, on it. How funny. It's like the squeegee and, guy, only he's a car yes, mover yes, guy. Exactly. And he would move cars right to left to sing to sing. Really? As, yeah. The doormen, the doormen who work, they jump in their car when their shift ends. Yeah. And they wait till the next doorman going on duty drives up. And then they quickly change car spaces. So it is it's a it's a real scheduling thing for people as to getting a parking space in New York City. Well, my brother comes to visit me from Connecticut, he finds a parking space, and then we take a cab wherever we're gonna go. You know, so once he finds a spot, <laughs> he ain't giving it up. No, Even serious. if it's across town? Of course. What the heck? No, you're Leo. joking now. No. Leo, downtown, it's about 25 to $35 for three hours to park. You mean in and, like in a, in, a, in a garage? 
in the garage. And then there's an 18, a very convenient. Wait a minute. 18, you, so, 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 like $8 an hour. Uh, $8 an hour. That's well, more than minimum to, wage. Well, the way you pay, yes. <laughs> uh, and then there's a very convenient 18% uh, sales tax on top of that. I told you, West End Avenue and 81st Street, a block and a half from where I live, a monthly indoor parking space is $780 plus 18% tax. So to have your car indoors, oh, it's horrible. Like, yeah, it's like 880 bucks. It's ridiculous. No wonder people take a cab. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And now you ask why I don't own a car. But but now here's my question. I mean, uh, yeah, exactly. Is Why own a car in New York City? That's crazy. Yeah, you know. And then the insurance isn't crazy. And you think of how many... There, how many cars there must be and how many parking spaces? There's probably 2 million cars and 500,000 parking spaces. So it's like musical chairs that you're guaranteed to lose. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So you can pretty much, for the price of parking indoors and insurance and the occasional ticket, which is, uh, I think tickets now are $130, uh, you can pretty much take cabs everywhere and still save money. Golly. Well, okay. and yeah, cabs are pretty affordable in New York, aren't they? They're not bad. I mean, the first drop is now, I think, three bucks. Oh, really? Still, oh, it used yeah. to be a buck fifty. Wow. I know. So that means when they drop the flag, boom, three bucks, right boom. out the door. I think, boom. yeah. Even yeah. if you're going a and block, three like, bucks. Three bucks. And then there's like a, a dollar surcharge during rush hour. Well, that's and then meals are extra and pillows and blankets are extra. <laughs> See, that's why I that's why I walk everywhere in Manhattan. Yeah, I love exactly. walking. Manhattan's a great walking town. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The, now out there, free parking everywhere, right? Oh, I park. So, well, no, actually, no. One would think that this is a small town, fifty thousand people. One would think that one could park in front of one's office. But because I'm, yeah. because I'm a block or two from downtown, like the, the center of town, um, I guess, I don't know, for some reason they make you move. So I could park here two hours and then I have to go to another block. I have to cross an intersection if I want to not get a ticket. Do you, is it like alternate side of the street harassment? What yeah, do they that's call what that? it is. Right. Uh, it's very weird. So, and then I, but now I can park, I park in the back. But everybody, all my employees, they have to like either move their car or if they've parked far enough away, if you park a couple of blocks up, up away from us, actually the next block over you can park. It's very, it's small town. We don't have parking meters in Petaluma, so they got to do something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they got to do something. But there's a garage over here. But yeah, but in my house, yeah, there's plenty of parking. I just And I remember when I lived in San Francisco, boy, that was a real pain is, 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 uh, you know, same thing. Circling and circling until you find until so somebody moves. And oh, and then those hills. Yeah, it's, you have to yeah. park with the wheels. Yeah, it could be a real problem. Oh, you have to put like super glue under the tires if you're on the top of one of those hills. Oh, it's terrible. Anywho, anyhow, do you have a do you have a gadget? I do not. No, I do. Okay, um, this is from um, friends of mine, the Spoon Sisters. Did go out to the houseware show in Chicago. I used to go, but there was too many bowls and napkins and, and sort of non, non techy things. Exactly. Yeah. But they found a non techy thing, but it, it's clever and kids will love it. And people in general will love it because a couple of weeks ago when I did that crust buster, I did it sort of like making fun that you could do the toothpick bird. I do crust buster. For some reason, people seem to like simple food things. Um, especially kids, or if you're making sandwiches for kids, they will love mix and munch, uh, match and munch yeah. sandwich cutters. So you cut sandwiches so that they become puzzles. And if oh. you're having a party... Oh, yeah, that's yeah. cool. It's, it's very clever. And... Also, I like doing it because inside the box, the, the, the website is lunchpunch.com slash AU uh, out of Australia. Uh, there's a little note in the box that we're a little mom and pop company. So if you like our product, please tell friends so we, we can get our product known. There you go. So there are different. The, the, the puzzle one is the one that I have and it's very cute. Match and, and they munch. Make little, match and munch. 
and they make little critters. Oh, but you get with, different sets because so there's four shapes, so that way you can make an actual full size and, puzzle. Right. You can make a puzzle like that big. Uh, Look at that. Uh, looks like whole wheat and and yeah, that's very. Yeah, they got you white know, bread. Very, the whole wheat bread. Also cute if you're having a party. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, it's very cute, and of course they're. You know, BPA and lead free and every kind of free plastic. Uh, Seventeen dollars for a set. Oh, that's a little and pricey. It's a little pricey. It is a little pricey. But I guess mom, mom and Papa are trying to get back their investment as quick as possible. <laughs> uh, you know, now it's Australia. So can I get this in the U.S.? Yes, yeah, SpoonSisters dot com. If you click on where to buy on the Australian website, it goes to SpoonSisters dot com. Oh, okay. So they have a link yeah. from there. Okay. They do They do have a link from their website. Yeah, or you can just go to directly to spoonsisters.com. So uh, the company is Lunch Punch. And the little ones that make the puzzles is Match and Munch. Actually, uh, when I clicked it, they linked to sweetmatties.com. So maybe they linked to different Oh, that's different so funny. People. because uh, Yeah, maybe they did. Because last night I did and it went to huh. Spoon Sisters. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway. That's where mine came from, and they're the ones that found it for me. So Lunch Punch. Very cool. Lunch Punch. Lunch Punch. I wish I, you know, I don't have kids anymore. I mean, I do, but they're not kids. You know, they're practically. No. They're practically. Well, you know what, Leo? This is the time Grandkids. where it pays off. They're older, earning a living, <laughs> sending paychecks home. No, no, no. This is worshiping the, mother and dad. This is the time before that time. Where they hate oh, mother and time. dad, and you're sending checks to the schools that they're going to. Oh, they're still in school. Okay. College. Okay. College oh, is co next. Okay. Well, then, you know, so college. you still have two phases to go through. The next phase is paying for their therapy so they can find out how much you screwed up their lives. Yes. Looking forward to why that. why you are the bane of their existence. Then comes sending money home. But I don't have any this month. Mom. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. Look it forward to that. You know, people should tune in <laughs> just for that to see yes. two middle-aged guys pretending to be Michael Jackson. It's sad. You have a problem with that? No. No. no, I think the problem is that I do it for hours at a time when we're not on oh, the Oh, that's air. the problem. I was wondering why you were wearing I that leave, white glove. I yeah. leave my camera up uh, and I tell people I'm on the air. I'm moonwalking. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, Pete Costello writes, I was watching the Daily Gizwiz on YouTube. We're on YouTube now. And you guys talked about the Nor'easter and that Dick monitored his boat by calling his answering machine. I did. <clears throat> Actually, we're having two horrendous days of rain here. And I only called my answering machine an hour ago to make sure my boat still has power. I have used the same technique to monitor a vacation home we have in the mountains. Even though your plan works for basic AC power connections, I opted for a more high-tech solution. I bought the sensor phone... That has the house call me if the AC power goes out. Oh, that's clever. If the temperature crosses upper and lower thresholds, if water is detected in the basement, and even if there is a loud noise like a smoke detector, it calls up to four numbers repeatedly until it gets an acknowledgement touch tone uh, that uh, until a touch tone signal is detected. Actually, I used to have a smartphone on my houseboat. Um, I have the older model that lets me call the unit and listen as the temperature probes speak the temperature. The newer units now use the internet for communication. I paid $400 for the four cents a unit and added thermal probes that I wired to close to the pipes in the kitchen and the bathroom. Gives me great peace of mind and has even helped get speedy repairs done when the furnace broke and we were not there. So that's pretty clever. Um, so they're, they're at they still sell those? Sense, they do. Sensophone. Sensophone.com. And uh, I had it down on the boat. And uh, you have to get a backup battery. So it actually <laughs> will call out when there's 
I, I believe the backup battery is built into the unit. Down at the houseboat, I wired it to the uh, houseboat batteries through a converter, so I knew it would always have power. But that's the very high-tech way. The low-tech way, just call your answering machine, and if it answers, there is AC power where you called. Or the more high-tech way from Pete Costello, get a sensor phone, and they start at 400 bucks. Ooh, yeah, they're a little pricey. They just updated they to the sensor phone 400 to match the price. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> our number well, is our price. Dane. You have Dane. You call Dane in the middle of the night and say, Dane, run up to, run yeah. up to Petaluma. Sure. That makes sense. It doesn't it? I mean, why spend $400? That's like two weeks of his salary. Three. Oh, three. Okay. Please, sorry. don't oh. give him a raise. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. See, he lied to me. Oh, yeah. I he, said, I said, I bet yeah. Leo's cheap, right? What do you get? Like 200 bucks a week. He said, no, I get $400 every three weeks. But it's not quite that much. He was, he was, you know, embarrassed. <laughs> he was trying to protect me. Yeah, he does a good job of it. That's really, why he gets the big bucks. <laughs> oh, don't! Come. Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! Oh my God! He's, he's got we... his sunglasses on. Come, come on, stand behind oh, me, Danny. Oh, 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 you, you see, he's okay. he's in his protective mode right now. Secret Service guy. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I, I, <laughs> nice, Dane. Very oh, nice. Lord. Now, actually, came in to hand me this. It just We just got this in the mail. Okay. I hearted Obama. Yeah, yeah. I loved Obama. Is this the, is this the new um, this is edition? This the uh, May issue. May 2010. But well, now they're saying months instead of quarters. Well, yeah, we're going by monthly now. And so after this. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's very funny because... Uh, on a couple of the message boards, people are writing, okay, to all you people said, Mad only bashes the Republicans when they're in office. Please see the current cover of Mad. Yeah. So we bash everybody. Equal we, opportunity we, basher. Basher. Exactly. Yeah, you yeah. got it. That's our slogan. I hearted That's Obama. <laughs> That's funny. Five ninety nine. Oh. That now that takes a little bit of gall. <clears throat> To say on the uh, on the price five ninety nine cheap, yes, but when it was thirty five cents, maybe. Yes, but you have to understand that we don't put it on the first two months that the price goes up. It just <laughs> says five ninety nine. We let it sink in, <laughs> and then we put cheap. Oh, really? On <laughs> it's only in the third month. <laughs> About the third, second or third. The month. staler that it gets, the cheaper it gets. <laughs> That's right. That's funny. Uh, Iron Man two in this one, late night TV, the thirty eight worst things. Oh, a parody my of big... germs poster, my full size germs. Oh, is that poster? finally in the uh, magazine? Great. Finally in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, a Big Bang Theory uh, satire. That show is, does very, very well. It's very popular with our uh, geek fans, as one might imagine. Is it is? Oh, that's interesting. Oh okay. yeah. Oh yeah. So let me see. I'm going to find your germ poster. Suitable for framing here. Suitable for framing, or you can just go to my website. Oh, look, and download there's even a right there. there's even a Twitter. Uh, back page about Twitter. Yes. Well, that shows you how how sent how mainstream Twitter has gotten. Steal these tweets. Yeah. Wow. Twitter may sound like it's fun and easy, but don't fool yourself. It's a pressure cooker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss Mad Magazine. I tell you, my kids have kind of... Oh, here it is. Here's the germ. Stop the spread of germs. Follow these simple rules in the workplace. Avoid bare skin-to-skin -skin contact. Shake hand using a stick. <laughs> I love it. All right. Dick, we're going to take a time out. Much Tomorrow, deserved. Now, give us a preview. Like, you've only been doing really good stuff. And Ready? I'm getting sick of... Is, is Here's the tomorrow... preview. There's the preview. I just shot... I, sh uh, I flashed you. It's in a yellow... Oh, oh, oh. That's Targus Yellow. That might That might help. Yeah, okay. Well, it's in a box already. It's something. It's when you go into the shopping bag that I start to... It's when some some lady drove by and <laughs> threw it out the window as she went by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, it's a Turn the Table Tuesday delivery. It's an old matzo. I Wait, found don't this. spoil it. I want to be surprised. <laughs> I found this. It was wrapped in a napkin under the chair. I thought, good news. All right, free matzo. Tuesday's, Tuesday's spoken for. Tuesday's spoken for. Uh, yeah, I like the headline on your on gizwiz.biz this week. Unbelievable. But Leo comes up with another really interesting gizmo. How does he do it? Yeah, how does he? Why did yeah, exactly. Why does he do it? Let's see if we can keep the streak going. Tomorrow, turn the tables Tuesday. I will see you then, Dick. I'll be here. D A I.
I L Y. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It makes its own gravy. Yeah.